Hi, today I would like to show you the modeling and calculation of a connection of two circular tubes with idea statica. The connection will be done with two head plates, which is nothing special. But if we look at the drawings, which I got from the customer, you will see that there are some special details, which makes this connection for me at least very interesting. My name is Ivan Belash and I am support engineer for CI Engineer and Idea Statica. Now we see the drawing which I have got from the customer. There is one big tube on the bottom, then one smaller tube on the top, and they will be connected with this one head plate with a thickness of, I think, 15 millimeters. Yes, 15 millimeters. And the second plate is inserted inside of this big tube. And they are then bolted together and, and welded to the tubes. So, and this connection we will calculate in Idea Statica. So I start a new project and in this project only one connection. So let's open an empty connection and add two members. I add the members each time with the right mouse button on the member, create new member, select the cross section. So the bottom one is one RO 475, 457 to 25 millimeters, 457 and 25. Okay. I don't care about the position and rotation. I will do it next time. So create a new one again with the right mouse button. Uh, no, create a new and again a tube and this tube is one two seven, 127 millimeters diameter 127 times five millimeter this one okay okay and now i have two tubes in in one so not the correct direction so let's change the position. This is for people they want to learn it. Each time I look that the X is going outside of the connecting connection node. So I will deactivate M2, leave only M1, and this show, should go to the bottom. So I have to rotate with minus 90 degree because if I would input plus 90 degree, then the X would go to Z. So minus 90 degree and the Z is going down and if we activate M2 then 90 degree so and if you look at the wireframe you see the connection is in the middle and the X axis are going outside of your connection so go to the transparent mode and the first thing which we will do is to insert this small 10 millimeter thick plate inside of the big tube. Oh, so first I need some loads. I will define something. Yes, I don't know, maybe minus 20 and 5 kilonewton the shear force and 10 kilonewton meter the bending moment. So doesn't matter for this calculation. Right mouse button, new operation, and we will create this rectangular tube. You can do it, of course, with this general stiffening plate, by the, but then you have to, to define the diameter and also the welds, especially. There is one nice hidden function, which is in stiffener. And we will not do it with the circle because circle will place some stiffener outside of my cross section. Sometimes this is also the way how you can connect the tubes, weld some stiffener on both tubes and bolt it together outside of the tubes. But 
this is not the case for today. So I go to profile. And if you use profile, and if you have one tube or rectangular tube, then one stiffener inside of your tube will be placed. So you don't need to calculate the diameters and, and, and add some welds and so on. So this should be 10 millimeter thick. And if we look from front, it should be five millimeter below this top. So I change it to zero and it's 10 millimeter. So minus 10, then, oh, plus. <laughs> my mistake each time I go in wrong direction. Okay, now we have it five millimeters below this top of the tube and we can create some weld. So in this transparent view, you cannot see on which side are the welds placed. So on this side. So that's okay. It's too thick. I say five millimeters or maybe four millimeters. That's better. Okay, we have this one stiffener. What we need is also one uh, opening in the middle of it with the diameter of 100 millimeter, but I will do it later. Now we will place this head plate. There are two ways how you can do it. You can create you can create this stiffening plate and place it everywhere and this is, I think, not a bad way. I show you both of them. So I go to circle and this was four, five, seven, I think. And we need, I have to look on it. And this have to, uh, diameter, we need uh, four, eight, seven. So we need a diameter four, eight, seven. This is two, four, 3.5 should be four, eight, seven. Okay. The thickness is 15 millimeters. I go to transparent to this direction and it should sit on this bottom tube. So I have to lift it with 7.5 millimeters to the top. Now I have the correct position. So this is very simple. The another way how you can do it is I will deactivate it and create a new operation and I can cut the top tube. So I will cut the tube M2 on this plate, on this plate stiffening. So I will not weld it together and I need an offset of five millimeters, let's say five millimeters and 15 millimeters. So 20 millimeters, I need an offset of 20 millimeters. So, and I can, the 20 millimeters from here, from this position, this is five and 15. So, and now I can add new operation. This is also hidden in the stiffener. The stiffener is a very powerful connection. So I don't need single circle. I say this is a cap plate on M2, ah, could be also on M1, M1 is better, yes, it's better on M1, okay, I don't need this cut, I can place it on, on M1, okay, that's okay, but we don't have a belt and it's 15 millimeters offset, okay, no, and now I can create this cut, I can copy it and delete this one. So at this cut, so I cut M1, no, M2 with the stiffener, stiffener 2, and without offset, and with welds. So we go to solid and look on, this is, this is in webs each time. This side or the another side, this side is the better one, is outside. Okay. Part of the connection is done. What we need are the bolts. Right mouse button, new operation, bolts. Bolts are, I think, 12 millimeters thickness. And I say, so they are not orthogonal, they are polar, and we will connect two items, stiffener one, stiffener two. Okay, it's predefined, it's okay for me. 
So I go every time in transparent. Look at the diameter. The bolts have a diameter radius 1, 3, 2.5. 1, 3, 2.5 and uh, we will use 60 degree but not 7 times so let's look 4 times so we have this first one it adds, it's at 0 so I don't need it I say it's only here because then you have 2, two bolts so 4 and we need 6 so you have to calculate and not to place two bolts over another. So if you create seven, then you don't see it, but you have some position with two bolts. So, and then you get a message uh, during the calculation. Okay, almost done. I don't like this 12 millimeter. I think 16 millimeter would be better or looks a little bit, at least much better. Okay. We need the openings in both plates. So you can simply click on the plate, go to the editor and add one hole with a diameter of 100 mm. It's placed standard in the middle, so you don't need to change something. So there is one, one opening in the top tube and in the top plate and in the bottom plate. We create also one hole with 100 mm. Okay, they are both there. So everything is done. We can calculate, and this was my mistake. During the support, I did it with TeamViewer. So, and we have to wait a little bit, and then you will see the calculation is not finished because I forgot one thing, which usually don't looks that it's necessary. So we have analysis zero, that means it cannot be calculated. And what is the issue? So you, if you don't know what is the issue, if you have some singularities, then go to operation, right mouse button, and click on check missing welds. And they, you get issue hollow M1 is not connected to stiff two. M1 to this plate. It's sitting on the plate. For us, it's okay, but the software needs some contact. So you have to create one contact line or contact area. And if you have contact between two surface surfaces, you can uh, use bolts and change the bolts to contact area. If you have contact between two edges or edge and surface, then you use welds. So I go to new operation, use the weld and change the weld to contact and then uh, see, this is edge to surface that's okay and contact so I will connect the member M1 with the plate Stephen 2 it's 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 here so if I go to the plate you see Stephen 2 Stephen 2 you can also click on this arrow so and then you see we have this contact area already defined and now I can calculate the connection. So it's not so complicated. I think it's very interesting because we have two a little bit hidden functionalities in the Stefana. It's in operation in Stefana and in this Stefana is not only standard Stefana for for H sections or for uh, U sections, but there is also a uh, plate which is inside of a tube or rectangular tube and you can use it also for a head plate so a little bit hidden functionality which is not visible on the first view but it's there and it's very powerful so we can go to the check and run all these uh, checks you can uh, check the strain the little bit plastic area in the welds but everything is on elastic part of my stress strain diagram so you can look at the stresses you can look at the contacts but we don't have contact between th these two plates so so there we have nothing and you can look at mesh and deform and everything and go to the report and print the report of this connection so i hope 
you learned something and maybe you will watch some next video. Thank you very much.